What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American, here today to react and continue learning about what the world really thinks about Americans. Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1, feel free to go check that out first, or stay here in Part 2. That's perfectly fine as well. But in part one, let me tell you, that was really an eye-opening experience. Uh, and honestly, this is probably something that all Americans really need to hear. So basically, there are five observations or five criticisms that uh, this video has about Americans. And in part one, we discussed the first two, which are that Americans are arrogant and Americans are ignorant. Um, and you can check that out to see my thoughts on that. But uh, <laughs> So we're really off to quite the start here. Um, but really, I I'm just interested to see what else this video has to say about how the world views Americans. Honestly, it's been a learning experience. I'm trying to go into this with an open mind. Um, so, but another part of me is also kind of nervous to see what else uh, people have to say about what they think about America. So, with that being said, let's take a look. Number three, positiveness and friendliness. Hey! <laughs> Hey, okay, all right, hey, that is not what <laughs> I was terrified. This is not what I was expecting. In the first part, it was all kind of criticism. This is nice. Po so when people think of America, it's not just negative things. You also think that we are positive and friendly, which I really appreciate. And I happen to agree with. Um, I've, I've heard some things about the UK before, that people in the UK have more of a realistic point of view, um, which can almost be like a little bit depressing, uh, because it, it's so realistic and so objective that, uh, it lacks like that sort of, I don't know, sort of ignorant optimism that Americans can have, where we just think everything can get better or be good or, I don't know, maybe we live with our head in the clouds, but uh, <laughs> it's a nice way to live sometimes. Anyway, this is nice. I like this. We've really been bashing America, so now we'll look at a positive stereotype ah. as equally untrue for all Americans. We must ah. add, though, that when it comes to generalizations of countries, many people harbor a negative bias. How many of you have ever uttered the words, oh, I really don't like the English, the French, the Indian, the Chinese? Just add your nation to the list. We recently saw a comment made by a young American who has gone ah. to study in the UK. He couldn't wait to get out, saying the atmosphere for the most part was gray, unfriendly, and intimidating. Ma ah, interesting. Interesting. So they're, they're literally talking about here um, what Americans think when they live in the UK for a while, that, like, Americans do tend to think, oh, this is a bit depressing. Um, and I, I think it has to do with, like, a difference in attitude, you could say? I don't know what the word for it is, between our two cultures. How we view the future, maybe, um, Americans are a little more blindly optimistic, but... You know, in a sense, that can be powerful. That can be a good thing um, because it can give you confidence that you might not otherwise have if uh, you are too aware of your limitations or too aware of the horrors of the world. <laughs> uh, uh, I think that's true. Maybe he just went to the wrong place, but one might argue that Americans are in general more open and positive than Brits. We okay. might remember what the dry, wry British celebrity intellectual Stephen Fry said about his trip to the US huh. when he made a show about travel there. He said this sense of outgoing positivity he enjoyed, and he said it's something the Brits were missing. Hmm. You can do it in America, or at least many people are taught to think they can. Well, huh. 
It is true that in many parts of America as well, um, we're not just optimistic, but like they're saying, I think Americans are pretty friendly. America, I mean, almost too friendly at, at times. Like, people will say things to you randomly when you go out, when you go to the grocery store. It's not that uncommon in the United States for strangers to, to say something to you. Like, it's, it's definitely not that strange, although... Whether you like that or not, that's another <laughs> topic altogether. But uh, yeah, especially I think in smaller towns and communities in America, Americans are pretty open and, and pretty kind in general, in general. You know, there's going to be exceptions everywhere you go, though. Well, back in Britain, perhaps the most downtrodden submit to the fact that life is hard, painful. Mm. Where's the beer? What mm. some people call arrogance, Fry said, was partly American optimism. Mm. Or what he said was a refusal to see oneself in a bad light. He oh, <laughs> that's a funny way to put it. That's funny. Yeah, maybe. That's probably true. <laughs> that's, you're right. But it's kind of, again, it, it can be kind of like a superpower. A refusal to see yourself in a negative light. I mean, that's also bad, because then you're... You're not willing to be introspective. You're not willing to criticize yourself and therefore unable to grow and learn and identify the faults that you have. That's not good. But putting that aside, <laughs> it can be powerful to think that you can do anything, even if that's not really true. Just to think it can help you manifest like motivation to actually go do it that you that you might not have that motivation if you were too keenly aware, like, oh, I, I can't do that, or that's too hard, or, you know. Yeah, it's an interesting thing to think about. He added, if you go to an American bookshop, by far the biggest section is the self-help and improvement. Huh. He yeah. said people believe that life is refinable and improvable. That's how America works, he said. Mm. You adapt and you find ways to improve. You never submit. Hell yeah, he loves that about America. Huh. Take that in your British pipes and smoke it. We think we might add here that a lot of people have experienced this, and while harboring the stereotype that Americans are outgoing and confident, those same people might hold a counter generalization that sometimes this positivity climax is a bit too hard. Mm. It jumps the shark. And then within this transposition, it manifests as something deplorable to others. Mm. I, I mean, I can easily see the other side of this where it can just come across as annoying or we you can easily tiptoe your way from confidence uh to arrogance very very easy to cross that line especially for americans i think it turns into pride without substance blind mm -hmm. faith a superiority complex that sure. is bathed only in its own ignorance mm -hmm. number two Money. Yeah, that's a <laughs> Money! <laughs> I, I was just going to say, it is definitely an American way of life to... You're taught to be confident. That's very, very important in American life, in, in business, in, in many things in American culture. You're definitely taught, like, you, you need to be confident. Um, like, that's drilled into our brains a bit. Even, even if you sh should be more realistic about something. Yeah, it, it's quite interesting, actually. Anyway, number two here has something to do with money. Okay. <laughs> money. It's all about money. If you've ever read critiques uh... on Hollywood versus cinema, you'll find that Hollywood is said to be firstly, perhaps only, a money-making enterprise. European cinema, we're told, is more about the art. In an American mm. film, often the happiest of all happiest endings is when they get away with the money. What else could matter? If you want to make a movie in Hollywood, <laughs> first show bits of it to the most average consumers and ask what they think. Then make the film based on the results. Oh, absolutely. Money... <laughs> America is ridiculously obsessed with money. Very, very materialistic. Your success is measured in money, not in how, especially on like social media and the internet today, especially. It's not measured in happiness like it should be, in how <laughs> uh, close or happy you are with your friends or your family, how content you are with your job and your achievements. 
It's all about money instead, which is not a good thing. Uh, don't get me wrong, money is important uh, <laughs> to survive, but it's certainly not everything. And, but America is a culture of money. Like, movies in America are terrible recently, um, especially this uh, craze where everything is just a sequel, that everything is just a remake, remake of, like, Gladiator coming out, re like more Star Wars movies and spinoffs, and everything is just a franchise or a s remake, basically. And that's just because, like, companies in America that make movies are scared of not making tons of money. They don't want to take a risk and make a new uh, original idea. Um, that's something that I've noticed and heard about recently. Even if the movie might be greeted with intense dislike by more refined audiences, it's all about cash, goddammit. We won't spend long on this, but America didn't invent capitalism. It's evidently just been very good at it. But at mm. the same time, America embraces free speech and critics of capitalism and neoliberalism abound in the country. America, the foundation of the United States, was built to have restrictions in place for if or when any behemoth gets out of control and gains too much power. Mm. Yes, um... What they said there a second ago with capitalism, again, so true. Uh, I don't know. You can view this as a bad thing. You can view this as a great thing. I think it's one of the greatest things about the United States is how you, you can try to start your own company. You can try to start your own endeavor, be an entrepreneur, um, try to make it for yourself, achieve the American dream. Uh, become rich and famous. All that opportunity is available because of capitalism, but at the same time, that can all be taken too far, and at times it is. And it's not everything, and it's not how you should base your life around, but America is definitely... <laughs> yes, this is so true. Money, capitalism, that, that is America. Like, seriously. We won't address the complications or merits of this today, but we will say that much of the world thinks America is overly money-centered, mm. more than, say, focused on happiness gained from other means than merely being rich. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, th again, uh, this video, this, this is a great video. I think so many Americans need to see this video um, because it's funny. This is all stuff that the rest of the world thinks about Americans. And it just so happens that Americans need to hear this. Like the rest, this, this is all obvious to the rest of the world, I guess. But when you're in America living the American experience, you don't notice how caught up you get in the grind. Money, capitalism, in the other things we talked about, arrogance, how ignorant we are of the rest of the world. You are in the American bubble. So, honestly, this video, I thought, was going to be very critical. And some of it has been critical of America. But rightfully so. It's, it's in a productive way, a constructive way. If Americans would learn from this, that, that'd be good. And having lots of things. Number one, Americans are all fat. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just like that's how <laughs> that's how you phrase it. You can't even say that in America uh, these days. That is not uh, politically correct to say that. <laughs> Americans are all fat. Americans are unhealthy for sure. I mean, by the data and statistics, we are like our population is overweight into a uh, an amount that's not healthy. Like, there's no debating that. It's a fact. Um, yeah, especially when you learn about what is in our foods, the preservatives and chemicals and food dyes and sugar that is in American processed food. It's honestly mind boggling. I I've learned a little bit about that recently. Anyway, uh, that all <laughs> stems just from this number one. Uh, it's an important one. Yeah.
Some Europeans and other citizens of the world like nothing more than to show their own superiority by constantly defaming Americans for their ingrained bad habits and slovenly TV-addicted fast food-related obesity. Mm. It is a fact that some part of America has a problem with eating, and this has led to what's yeah. called an obesity epidemic. Seri seriously, like, it, it, like you might chuckle at this at first. It might be something that uh, people around the world like to make fun of us for, but... I think in a weird in a weird way we need to hear this. Uh, we need to hear this criticism because it's a problem, and it, it's literally causing people to die horribly from heart disease, stuff like that. You know, obesity-related diseases. Terrible. That has resulted in widespread health complications. Your average Asian might touch down in, say, Houston for the first time and think they've discovered a <laughs> land of giants. But America is not the fattest country <laughs> in the world. It's around the 17th, according to the WHO. It's the really? fattest Western nation, but a lot of other Western countries are not far behind in terms of... Really? Really? We are not the fattest country in the world? Is that what they said? We're number 17? I... <laughs> I should not be so proud of this. This that's still bad, but I'm oddly pleased that we're not number one. In terms of obesity, obesity crises are happening in the UK, New Zealand, mm. Ireland, Australia, and many other nations. Wow. So I guess just with the way like the world is in this day and age, everyone around the world is getting access to I don't know. Is it the processed food? Um, is it, is it just that we have so much comfort and food available now? You don't really, you don't have to work for it. You can sit on your couch and have food delivered to your front door without lifting a finger. Well, you do have to lift a finger and <laughs> order it on your phone. You, you do have to lift a finger, but, <laughs> but yeah, um, the modern day accessibility to food is pretty shocking how... It's such a great thing, such a wonderful problem to have, but it is a problem in a sense. We can hardly say the junk food epidemic is an American affliction only. Huh. And on the other hand, many Americans are fitness freaks. It's a fitness conscious country as well as a nation of couch bound sugar junkies. I, I was gonna say, fitness freaks. Yeah, maybe some Americans, not all. I don't know. Um, this is an interesting one to end on, this criticism, because this seems to be something that everyone associates with America, but apparently it's really a worldwide problem. Just look at popular podcasts such as The Joe Rogan Show, and you'll see that health, longevity, physical improvement is on the minds of many Americans. Yeah. You could even go as far to say that this new wave of health improvement is being led by an American avant-garde. Mm. But yes, the stereotype of fat America is hardly only imaginary. We could have added more yeah. to this list, but we feel if we're to debate these stereotypes in the comments, we might leave it here as it could get confusing. Do you think any- Okay, so that's the end right there. Are these true? Americans are all fat. Not all of us are fat. Um, many are un very, like in a dangerous weight range, obese, Health problems, definitely true. Uh, money, it's all about the money. Yes. <laughs> positiveness, positiveness and friendliness. Yeah, and I like that one. <laughs> yes, for better or for worse, or overly friendly and a little too positive. <laughs> Ignorance, yes, yes. Arrogance, yes. That kind of goes hand in hand with ignorance. Thinking you know more than... It's funny because Americans think they know like what's best and how things should be done the American way. But we don't even know other ways. We're ignorant of that, so it doesn't even, ugh, makes it, makes it worse, honestly. Anyway, we're finally at the end. There's my little rundown of the five uh, sort of points that apparently the rest, this is how the rest of the world views America. I think it's, you know, I gotta admit, pretty accurate, um, pretty fair. And again, not, it's not bad to talk about this. Um, it, it's, it's, it's bad to ignore it and pretend this doesn't exist. I actually found this video quite constructive um, and, and interesting to talk about. So 
I quite enjoyed this, actually. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment with your thoughts on what you think about the United States and these five topics, if you agree with them. Um, that'd be, that'd be quite interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching, and see you next time.